Oh boy, Katie needs a spoon. What did you do to yours? It melted. It was so fun to eat though. It looks it fun messy. to eat. Yeah, I finished mine the as I was walking. It just melted, right? The stick melted. It's made of wood. Well, I know, but the Oh, it's it inside of it stick. somewhere. It is an overcast day and we are headed over to Universal Studios. Katie and I. Hello, hello. We're headed in or out. The adventure begins. So we just entered the park. That was a long. That was a long line. Oh there my gosh! There are people buying passes, fixing frozen tickets. Oh, oh no! Thank God for fans, though. In they had fans in there. That was good. Ooh. You know, it's kind of sad, but there's this ride up there where you can like fly like a little raptor, but you've got to have a kid with you in order to ride it, which is kind of annoying. You know, like sometimes you just want to fly. I do. Like a bird. And be free. If we play our cards right, we could ride that one. Yeah, but it's wet. So, so it depends if we want to get wet. Maybe we'll get too hot. We'll want that Maybe. All right, we're leaving Jurassic Park. Walked right through it and then headed over to the Hogsmeade area here in Islands of Adventure. And I definitely want to come back here in the winter for sure because I think it's going to be a total vibe having like the snow. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is Florida. Having just the winter atmosphere, at least, with, you know, all the snow-capped buildings. Oh, well, actually, there's, like, smoke coming out the top. I never noticed. They have a butterbeer stand. I think I've had it a long, long time ago. I just don't remember hardly much about it. I do recommend the butterbeer ice cream, though, if you can get that. I think we're going to head over to the train, actually, because I want to ride that over while the wait time is low because nobody's really thinking about switching parks this early. And if you want to ride the train, it's a good time to do it. So, it's just really, really cool. Definitely want to try to ride the Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure, which is up here to the left. It is a very good ride, and I would like Katie to ride that one because it has that surprise in it. That, that surprise that it does, the drop. I just want the surprise. But that means nothing if you don't know what I'm talking about, so. Okay, let's head on in to the train. It's just a 10 minute wait, super happy about that. And that way we can get a ride in right away. Because it's like technically a ride and then also transportation to the other part. I know, it's silly to go all the way. So basically you walk all the way to the back of park number one, Islands of Adventure get on the train and then it takes you to the back of the other park but whatever right <laughs> and then you could do something over there or get back on and ride it back over here if you want to ride something over here but you're still in both Harry Potter areas so each park has its own Harry Potter section in the back all right we're heading up to nine and three quarters that's gonna be pretty much a walk on it said 10 minute wait but we are walking right on two Row five, row All right, row five. row five. Right here. Yeah, we are getting right on. That's so awesome. What? How about this one? It's occupied, Harry. Looks like a bunch of fish. Let's keep looking. It's different. All right, just got off of the train. Actually, we're gonna head over to the Escape from Green Gods, which is right over this direction. It uh, luckily feels not so hot after being in the air conditioning for that short time. But yeah, there's like a 30 minute wait for Green Gods, and that is acceptable. I did find out that if you wanna do this like phone booth, there's like you could dial a number and it, like talk to people on it. So I've never done that before though, but that's what it looks like in there. I'm not sure how it works. Oh, you can actually dial those numbers up on the, the page there and then talk to people. That's cool. Usually there's like a line of people here. Let's go through the magic wall. And they have the night bus over there. All right, let's go this way. We'll probably have to get ice cream later at my favorite place, that Fortune, whatever it's called, Fortescue's. That's fun. There's Green Gots. I think every 10 minutes on the on the on the tin it fires the dragon. 
with that fire in its mouth at 30 minutes. Now, since I'm here with Katie, I don't get the benefit of the single rider queue, which can actually cut things down to almost walk on. So if you are by yourself here, or you don't mind being split up with your party, just go to the single rider entrance and you'll be put with like a random person, but still, it's way faster sometimes. All right, that was fantastic. Oh, 60 minute wait time now. We got in good. We got a 30, oh, I lost, where'd Katie go? Oh, she's over there. Um, it was a 30 minute, I lost you. I know, I had to take did you, some pictures. It's 60 minutes now. Wow, we did I know. well. Good job, Jeff. Good job, me. All right, we're gonna eat lunch, I think, if we can. There's the Fountain of Fair Fortune over here that looks like it might be an option. But that was a fun ride. I forgot to take my phone with me. I could have recorded the queue at least, which is kind of interesting. But it was a great ride. I, I like that one. So let's see. Is this, can we eat here or is it just butter beer? Oh, I think it's just drinks, which is not at all what I want. Let's go here. Oh no. This isn't it. I'm not doing that. It's just drinks. Oh, That's not what we want at all. We'll have to find a good eatery. What is this now? Bathrooms? Oh, wait a minute. This is Diagon Alley. Have you been to the Diagon? Or, this is Diagon Alley over here. Yeah. This will actually come out near that other restaurant. So maybe we'll just eat there. They move. They do move. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Bellatrix. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I don't think I've actually recorded in here. I've, I've walked it kind of briefly, but this is the, or maybe I did, the Diagon Alley. It's such a cool area. If I had my big camera, my main camera, I'd have better dark footage here because it's so dark. Isn't that cool? It's a gift shop. Yeah shopping all right so i am outside here this restaurant it is um getting her app all loaded up so that we can eat here at the leaky cauldron for lunch today i'm actually going to do a salad and soup last time i was here i got the shepherd's pie not a fan not a fan at all so today i'm having something way simpler and hopefully it's good but it's very nice ambiance here it's about noon, so we'll eat this. And then uh, also maybe strategize inside what kind of rides that we for sure want to ride today and go from there. But it's a nice day for it. And luckily, it is hot, but luckily there's enough, uh, what do you call it, clouds that it's really helping dissipate some of that heat so much because it could be a, it could be a lot. This is such a fun room. They have all of it decked out, all the pictures on the walls. And it's really a great place to eat if you're down here. It's one of the main areas, actually. I like all the woodwork there, exposed beams. It's kind of been a while since our, for our food to arrive. Over there, chandeliers. It's just really cool. Yeah, it is. I wonder if she has our food. No, she does not have our food. Oh, woman. They're busy. They're really busy though here. So what, look at this. Okay, that looks like crap. Split pea soup. That's is this what that is? Yeah. Oh, they have the weirdest dang options here. Well, but anyways, it's British. it's British, but they could have done better. They could have tried harder. So we got the salad with the ranch. Ranch. And then this split pea soup, which is... What did you get now? Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I got a stew and it's got a little roll. Oh, the, uh, I'm envious. It's good. Dang it. You want to try a little no, that's all right. But I'll just eat my eat my slosh. All right. Well, actually, the split pea soup was pretty good. I ate all of it. I had my salad. You like yours? Yeah, I love mine. The bread was good. Oh, the, the bread. Yeah, I tried a little bit the, of that too. Uh, the stew was good. I'm my water bottle. And we're downing water. I it's have, the you hottest have to. day in Florida here. Like, it honestly is pretty darn hot. But it's working. Yeah. I mean, the, the air conditioned space is amazing. For sure. Alright. Back on the Hogwarts Express. Oh, so nice, so nice. 
There's the Honey Dukes. I actually recorded in there, showed a lot of the different candy and things like that there in a previous video. So be sure to check that one out because I spent some time in that one. What do they got? 70 minutes. Yeah, 70 minutes on Hagrid. So that's a no-go right now. In fact, we're actually headed back to the, the, uh, the castle because the ride that's at the castle, the Forbidden Journey ride is not that long to wait. So that is fantastic. Well, apparently there's a weather delay and as you can see it looks very ominous up there so we're just gonna <laughs> I'm not sure I think it's like somewhere if it's like within maybe five miles or ten miles or something then they will delay suspension they'll suspend like the, the rides and actually like, a lot of the rides are suspended here so some people are leaving this ride to go I don't know where don't know like the other rides the wait times are going up so we might as well just stay here, right? Yeah, might as well. Camp on the ground. People are not allowed to sit on the ground because somebody might trip over them. Which makes no sense. <laughs> well, they just started the ride back up, but as I'm sitting here, I noticed that there's Hagrid's little hut. Hagrid's hut. And they're doing a test drive of the coaster right now with nobody in it. So yeah, it, it was maybe like a, would you say 15 minute hiatus? Alrighty then, that was a fun ride. It's incredibly short, so like it goes by fast. It's kind of like a carnival ride in that regard, but a little bit, it's, fun. it's a fun thrill. It's a fast, fast ride. So actually I think we're, I mean, if, as long as the ride, as long as the train isn't too long, I think we might go back on the train and head over and maybe do ET because it's like 20 minute ride. I mean, it's like 20 minute wait time and that's appropriate, so. Some of these rides are too long right now. Ah, uh, no. We're not gonna wait no hour for Spider-Man. All right, we're walking right over here to the Seuss area because they have the ice cream that I want. And then after we have that, we'll head back over to the, um, the pass holder lounge. For the first time, I will try the pass holder area and hopefully it's good. I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. Maybe get like a lanyard or something there. Plus it's indoor. I could kind of rest a little bit. Catch a breath, take a break. Have a little party. Made it to the ice cream place and now I'm considering getting like a, a waffle cone with strawberry or mint. I can't decide. I should get mint. I was between that or strawberry. Yeah. I don't know. It's so difficult. Because the brownie Sunday thing I thought about last time I was here, but then I just decided against it. I couldn't. If I could just see what it looks like, they had a prop or something of it. It's hard to know. Oh, this was such a good choice. I've already had a couple of bites, and it is amazing. You're gonna love that. We're gonna walk back. I guess that treacherous journey back to the UAP lounge. Pass holder lounge. I'm ready for that. They've got like a couple chairs over there, and then they also have these over here with like places to plug in. That's really cool. Oh boy, Katie needs a spoon. What did you do to yours? It melted. It was so fun to eat though. It looks it fun messy. to eat. Yeah, I finished mine as the I was stick walking. Just melted, right? The stick melted. It's made of wood. Well, I know, but this. Oh, it's it inside of it somewhere. And now it's inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a fun surprise. So I will. What are they? That's not Kool Aid? There are Kool Aid shots over there. Are you kidding? This is fancy. <laughs> fancy. Well, it's. Oh shoot. I almost tripped over a chair. So fancy. What do we got? Liquids in a cup. It tastes like melted jello. It might be, was, at one point maybe it was jello. I got myself a lanyard. I finally have a lanyard. They also have these patches here. That's cool, and like little keychains. I like all the neon. It's kind of like a neon look to it. They have the embroidered sweatshirts there, the hats, the fanny packs, the mugs. I'm also gonna get this little lanyard pouch for $5. So then I could put that in there and be like all professional. 
I think. I think I want to be professional. Maybe I just want to stick in my wallet like always and be silly. But then it's easier when you're getting on and off the train to just have it True. on your hand. You're not fumbling with a wallet. No fumbling. Hmm. What, what are you doing? Did you give up? I'm giving up. That's absurd. I'm giving up because I'm full. Well, you know, save them for dinner. Yes. That's always It is hot. delicious. I highly recommend. It looks like crap, but it tastes really <laughs> it, it good. It melted. It had a little incident in the heat, but it's okay. Yes. It's, it's so lovely and wonderful. Yeah. We should go sit over there. Yes. That looks way better of a place. $13.39 with a discount. You can see I've got my, my thing and my strap on, or my, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean my uh, lanyard strap thing. And then, we're gonna go to Spider-Man and then we're gonna go to the other park because there are some rides over there that we actually haven't even rode or been to so I'm really excited for that one and yeah it's a nice day it's um sometimes it's hot sometimes it's um <laughs> just really really warm <laughs> but it depends on whether or not the sun's out and all that there's Dr. Doom Freefall over there I've rode that and that's fun it's short and it's really, really powerful because you drop. But I think Spider-Man's like a 25 minute wait. So we'll head over there. And then some of the other rides in the other park are also right around 25 minutes. And that's not too bad really either. So I think that's the smart thing to do to go over there. We got, we got our lanyards and we are in line now for Spider-Man and we're official. We're official. We're with our official. <laughs> that was really good. I'm glad we wrote it. Oh, me too. Great. Yeah. All right, we're heading back out and we're going to see what else we can find now. All right, we made it to the other park here. Just went through the gate which is right over there and then also the Paramount or the, well, kind of like the Paramount style gate is back there, styled after it. We've got on location. This is a fun area because they have like all of this like, I don't know, like deco, art deco, California, all that. Oh shoot. Well, that's icky. Well, that's no good. Let's look at the, when is the next maybe show? Oh, ET, 25 minutes. Maybe we'll do ET. E.T. E.T. Maybe we will ride E.T. It depends if we get there. And it's still 25 minutes. I love this street. It's a beautiful street. Yes, indeed. I know. Yeah, too bad it's not like an actual restaurant here. It's just like a little store. Yeah. There's a episode of I Love Lucy where she goes to the Hollywood Brown Derby and throws a pie in William Holden's face. This is the Schwab's. They have Dole Whip here. They have the Dole Whip, the pineapple Dole. What a cool building inside, all the deco vibes. Where did Katie go? Did I lose her? Where, oh, where did Katie go? I think, oh, there she's walking down the other direction. I think she got lost. She does get directionally challenged. She told me this. Did you get lost? Nothing else. No, just wanted to go back for the Brown Derby. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. Needed a photo of the Brown Derby. Needed a photo. Wait, what is this Jurassic Park tribute store? What? Why? There's already a Jurassic Park area and the other one. All right, then. If you must. They're putting on a show. Oh, Mel's closed down since I've been here last. Last time I was here, maybe it was... Oh, oh, they're just dancing through the street. All right, do it. Dance it out. We're gonna go over to ET now. Oh, oh my. Oh, I'm part of the show. <laughs> All right, I didn't realize we were... We were They're, they're, they're going back home. We got our card and our name is attached to it so that they can call out our name. Just call my name. And then they'll call out our name whenever we get like back to the Earth planet. Well, Earth, the planet Earth. 
nice theming through here. Oh, it feels so freaking good. It is 90 degrees, but the feels like temperature is 98 degrees. That's been, that one's been here for so long, so you kind of have to ride that one. But we are now on our way to see what else there is, and we're gonna get hot again. All right, we are going in, and I know you can't really film in here. They don't like it, so we will not film. But we're going into this holding room, and then we'll head on into the the amphitheater. That was a fun show. You know, it's too bad you can't see it. But if you ever make it out here, I would recommend it. It's technolo technologically very advanced, I think, for what we can accomplish. Now, it's um, I think they said it's like four. Did she say four thousand four Ks? No. Yeah, she said something with four, but I think she's like, a liar. Four, four, it's four K, but. It's like, no, it's not the span of a football field. It's like half. Or half of Half of a football field. Something Katie, football let's, not field. Listen, let's not listen to Katie. Don't pay attention to me. But no, but they, basically there was a malfunction and they were so on top of it. They had a lady come out with the microphone and explain like some behind the scenes of how the technology works and everything, which was pretty cool. I'm glad that it malfunctioned because I heard things that I, I wouldn't have known otherwise. And so, yeah. So we're gonna go to this restaurant over here. Louis, actually, it's right there. And uh, have some Italian. Here we go. Now this is pretty cool because I actually haven't really been in this area very much at all. This like kind of New York area. But this is the Louis Italian right here. I'm really excited for it. All right, it's like a cafeteria kind of in here. Neat. Well, we'll get what we can get and see how we do it. Fun. There's Louie right there. If you if you wanted to know what he looked like, that's that's a, that's Louie. Well, look at this. We got a little breadstick, the spaghetti, a cup of water, free on the house, and this looks really nice. So after this, I'm not sure exactly what ride we're gonna ride. We will find out. Most likely, Jimmy Fallon. I just got done eating at the Louie's restaurant. There, came out here, used the bathroom for like the tenth time today. But I've been drinking a lot, a lot of water. I just love all the theming here. Look at that, Gotham Ice Company. That's where the bathroom is. All right, next up is starring Jimmy Fallon. We're gonna do the race through New York thing here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this like long corridor. Wow, there's Jimmy and a panda bear. This is pretty cool. Look, they've got like this whole shrine for talk show hosts. So you've got Jay Leno's suit. Wow, this is something pretty neat. Steve Allen, Jack Parr, Conan O'Brien, and the myth, the man, the legend himself, Jimmy Fallon, and his little suit. His little suit. All right, we got this card here. I don't know what it is. It's a souvenir. It takes us up. Take me up. So you gotta go up the stairs, very swanky. Okay, honestly, that was really, really cool. Yeah, I'm glad that I, because I was like, mm, hey, I don't know. But that was more than I thought it would be. Very well done, Jimmy. Yeah. Very well done. Lots of stuff to see and do, and yeah. even though you're not moving a lot, you are, and it's just fun. Sure. All right, so we are, now we're gonna head over, maybe to the other park, to um, Island of Adventure, to go to Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. Because I would like to do that. Oh, it's so pretty out. Neat. Oh, the weather's looking a little ominous over there. I think we're going to do the mummy right now. It's 15 minutes. And we might not be able to do any outdoor things if it went like thunder strikes or something. Because they'll shut down all those outdoor ones. Which kind of sucks. But that seems to be what's going to happen. Maybe. Well, let's get in line for this. It's only 15 minutes. That is so neat. That big statue hanging from the ceiling. And it goes down, down. And there's all the people hanging out down there. I don't know why, but every time I forget how good that ride is. The Mummy, I recommend it. It's a fun one. And of course it led out to the gift shop over here. I'm gonna go pick up uh, my bag in the locker. We'll see about the weather, I don't know. Right now I'm considering <laughs> Katie and I are considering going to uh, ride um, Men in Black and 
Men in Black and The Simpsons? Yeah, because yeah. the other one's closed. I think they're going to be closed from the weather. That damp, that darn weather. Weather, weather, chicken feather. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's a little misty, like a little rainy. I have an umbrella and a poncho, but I'm not pulling the poncho out just yet. No, no it happens. Yeah, this weather, because it's just spritzing, and a little spritz will do ya. So we're heading over to The Simpsons, and ooh, it's kind of gray over there. Well, they put us in our little room here, getting ready for the ride. It's all decked out with these pictures. Best Krusty can afford. Well, look at this. We made it back to the Schwab's and this place is so empty. Katie and I walked in. Nobody was in here. I was like, are you guys open? She's like, yeah, we are. So <laughs> I'm getting my second ice cream of the day. Cookies and cream. I tried this, uh, sh uh, the, what is it? The, the sorbet, raspberry sorbet. It was good. That's what the stick is from. It was okay, but I'm just like, I like this better. $8 though. That's atrocious. The what? He's all sun faded, so it looks like he's a ghost, like that. Oh my gosh. He's a little baby. It's so pretty. All right, we are walking out finally. The rain subsided a little bit. It was pouring down raining, and we I still have my poncho on, but the lightning is happening up there. I love all the lights all along here. This is like the city walk area. And uh, so anyways, it was raining and then basically we went to get ice cream. So as we were, look at me, I'm all plasticed up. <laughs> I'm protected. You're extra protected. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so I got, we got the, we went to Schwab's, as you saw, and I got my ice cream. You got a water? I did, I was hot and thirsty. Hot and thirsty. I'm all cooled off, the rain helps. It is much cooler now. Yeah. What a, it's like a party. It is. It's a hard rock. It's hard rock. It's like a tea I'm a little teapot. Look at that. <laughs>